Hi, everyone, and welcome to our talk today on creating concept feature norms. My name is Aaron Buchanan, and my collaborators on this project are Jonathan Korn and Mark Newman. I know the SCIP crowd appreciates large data sets because computational research runs on corpora or data sets. This data can be used for hypothesis testing, stimuli selection, for experimental questions. The Open Subtitles Corpus is a recently updated large set of corpora that provides linguistic data for 50 or more languages. These data sets are a collection of movie subtitles, which should represent more naturalistic language. Previous research with the subtitle corpora have shown their usefulness and effectiveness in computational research. They are freely available to download from the Opus website. But specifically, I want to talk about how I might exploit these large data sets for use in understanding semantic concept feature relations. Traditionally, semantic feature production norms are created by using the property listing task. In this task, participants are asked to list the properties of a given concept. If shown dog, they may list an animal, barks, or has a tail. These norms require a lot of time, effort, and data processing to curate and publish. However, this work is worthwhile because the norms are useful for many tasks, especially measures of semantic similarity. Therefore, we might be able to explore the use of computational models to create linguistic norms in many languages in a more cost-effective and time-effective way. This session focuses on computation for the social good, and computational analysis would allow us to provide these data in many languages beyond English that do not have adequate data sets to answer questions about their own language, much less cross-linguistic comparisons. Strudel, or Structured Dimension Extraction and Labeling, is a model proposed by Baroni and colleagues to extract concept feature relations from large corpora. Strudel showed some promising results, such as providing relevant features for the concept book, reader, author, library, and chapter, as compared to the McRae norms. However, this model has not been used or explored much since publication. One key limitation to Strudel is the focus on English as the primary language with extraction rules that are somewhat generic, but may not cover the various forms of sentence structure in many languages. Last, the code is not only difficult to find, but also hard to navigate because of the use of a command line corpus software and Perl. The core concept of Strudel's extraction rules is a version of dependency parsing, which creates a relationship between a head word and a related token. The image on the right presents a simple sentence in which authors and write are related and books and write are related. The advantage to dependency parsing is the availability of models and simplified processing in many languages. Specifically, we're using UDPipe an excellent R package with models trained on tree banks. Our process is to import the tokenized text from the open subtitle corpus and use UDPipe to process each sentence for part of speech tags, lemmas, and dependency relations. From this, we extract all nouns, adjectives, and adverbs as our concepts and features. Only noun, adjective, and object modifiers are selected from the dependency relations. Last, we provide the frequency of all of these combinations in our final output for all to use. Here's an example of what the output provided by UDPipe with the token, lemma, part of speech, and dependency relation. We use the head token ID to find that relationship as write is the head word related to both author and books. Additionally, several in books would be related as an adject, uh, adject adjective modifier. <laughs> the English corpus is approximately half a billion tokens, which creates 27 million different dependency relations for nouns, verbs, and adjectives. These relations count for 308 million instances, where the frequency of those instances ranges from one to nearly 400,000 for last night. 
we will use a few words as an example of the results from this data, which will be compared to the recently published Buchanan feature norms. Two real questions arise with this data. One, which way does the dependency make the most sense? Should the head word in the dependency be the concept and the related word the feature or vice versa? Second, while we provide all concept feature frequencies, this processing does create a fair amount of noise. What should the cutoff be for frequency for usage? This graph, scroll down a little here, shows the cosine between the Buchanan norms and the English strudel process norms. The x-axis shows the cutoff percentage for the strudel norms, which have been normalized by the number of occurrences total in the data set. We can see that the likely cutoff is very small as increasing values past 0.5% do not increase cosine values greatly. Second, we can see that the backwards relation from the dependent word to the head word concept appear to work better for most words with dry as a notable exception. The cosine values are low. However, this preliminary comparison is on the final processed data set from the Buchanan norms, which excludes many small feature combinations. A final analysis will be explored on the original non-reduced data for more fine grain tuning. Last, I want to note that this project is part of a larger mega study that focuses on semantic priming, partnered with the Psychological Science Accelerator. The PSA is a global network of research labs who partner together to engage in worldwide research. The project's lofty goals include providing a large multilinguistic normed data set for computational analysis, code packages for accessing and interacting with the data, and more. We're looking for collaborators, and if you're interested in learning more, please contact me. Thank you for listening, and I'll be excited to answer your questions now.